Hi, it's me again with Corrode Old Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file. And they sent me some pictures at first and wanted to not cut out the outs or just cut out the outside line and not the inside line. Then they sent me this. So I'm a little bit confused because it doesn't trace where the flip and it's got a lot of blur. It's got a lot of trash on the outside. And I know this is what he wasn't what he was asking, but there's your fish in vector. Really pretty easy. So for the one I'm doing it for, let's just start over. I'm going to reduce this guy in size quite a bit. And I'm going to make a copy of it and nudge it over. I'm going to take that original. I'm going to go to trace bitmap, outline, trace clip art. So if this isn't the question you were asking, uh, we'll figure it out later. So here's your trace version. And it is garbage. There's a lot of extra stuff. Um, so we're just going to do it. I'm going to go to object group and ungroup. And then I'm going to start getting rid of this blue outline. And I'm just hitting it and hitting delete. And I'll probably go around it and do the other parts too in a second. But I'm mainly getting the blue right now, the um, kind of light blue, aqua blue. And I would try to stay zoomed in. And, and on the bubbles, we'll just redraw them instead of trying to clear them up. See, we've lost some, uh, that is gray matter, so it will work when we do what we're going to do next. And you don't have to go too far on this because uh, we can straighten it out. So I'm only going to go a little bit further. I'm going to call that good. But see how jagged it is and multicolored? So what we're going to right now, we're going to do, we're just going to move the bubbles over twice and see there's, we'll go ahead and get the whole bubble. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a rectangle. I'm going to take my smart fill tool on dark blue, I guess. And then I'm going to nudge it over and look at that. Now I'm going to fill that in with dark blue and nudge that up and over, and for the one I'm doing it for, I've changed your your drawing tool to a hairline. You'll find that's a lot easier. So now we have our fish outline, and that's gonna be, well, let's do, go ahead and do this. Uh, see the roughness? Get your uh, smoothing tool. We can make it a little bit bigger than that. And click on it till you see the nodes. And then just like real quickly, kind of go around it. And see the nodes are disappearing as I'm doing this. And you got a lot smoother fish. Now the rest of it is a little bit of um, hands-on work, I'm going to call it. Drawing it. And you can see we're a little bit off on our shape, but I think we're good. Now I'm going to get the two point or the three point curve line and make sure you go from the edge of the line to the edge of the line and then give it a little bit of curve. We're going to go up here, make sure we get on the node. On this one here, we'll start about here. What I'm trying to do is just kind of get that shape and you'll, it'll make sense in just a minute. Three-point curve line. I'm going to go from there to there. It's really just a little bit of upward curve. Go from there to there, a little inward curve. There from there, we're going to go all the way out to there and give a little inward curve. Now, I don't know about the shadow. and If you wanted that shadow underneath his mouth, you could do that. But I'm going to take the three-point curve line. And go from node to node. And see, it's kind of hard to do that, but then you take the shape tool and grab it and get these handles. 
and make it more like the shape of his mouth. And I'm not going to take a lot of time. I'm going to take an ellipse, but not hold down the control button. Then I'm going to bring it into his eyeball. And then I'm going to stretch it out to about the size of his eyeball. Then I'm going to take another ellipse and hold down the control button and put it on his eyeball. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key and have it grow, grow from the center. Then I'm going to control D. So you've got your, we're going to set that right now. Five millimeters. I'm going to set it to zero. And this is the reason you want to do that. Because then when you make a duplicate of this, it's going to put it right on top of it. Then I can hold down the, sh the shift key, make it there. I'm going to make another ellipse for the white part of his eye and put it there. I'm going to get away with that line in just a second. But while we're right here on his eyebrow, go back to the three-point curve line and go from about right there to right there. Sometimes it's not a good idea to go all the way at one time because then you, but you can always go back with the shape tool. And just make sure you get on that line. I mean, we can always fix it. But if you get in the habit of making sure you do it. So we've got another eyebrow right here. Now this, I am changing the fish shape a little bit. So I actually need to go from there downwardly. And then I can get his eyebrow. And then instead of getting a lips, I'm just going to do this with the three-point curve line. Just make sure you get on that line. And I think we have it all. Now I'm not going to worry about the bubbles. I'm going to move this down. I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Now, I could possibly have some leaks by the way I did it in the quickness. So I'm going to take a rectangle and fill it around. And I'm going to use the color from this fish. So let's get the smart fill tool. Get down here to this eyedropper and let's get this orange. Whoop. I, did, I didn't get a sample. Sample. Then go over here and fill it in. And hopefully there's no leaks and there's no leak. Oh, so this is why you always nudge. I forgot to do his outline of his face. So we're going to take our three-point curve line. This might be a little bit hard to go all the way, so I'm going to go in half. And I don't have my other lines there to judge. And if you take your picture and then move this over, and then we want to look to make sure we don't have any leaks. You see, I'm a little bit off, but I'm just going to trim that. We're going to get rid of, and I didn't do a great job. See, there's going to be a leak. I didn't do a great job of making that arch very good, but for the video, it's fine. Go back to the smart field tool. I still got that same color and no leaks. Now we're going to grab the smart field tool again, get the eyedropper, and I'm going to get that center darkness. There's a little bit of center darkness on there, but I'm going to, on the other eyeball, get the eyedropper, get that blue. And we're going to take away the uh, line so the lines don't really matter. And then I'm going to get this gold. And I think that's all the gold. Now we need that brown for the eyebrow. Didn't know fish had eyebrows. You know what? Somehow I lost my eyebrow on my eye. Maybe it didn't transfer over. But this is why you want to nudge and not move stuff. So I can I can go right back. I'm pretty sure I drew that eyebrow. And instead of trying to grab those lines, just grab the fish and there's your eyebrow. 
Now we've already got that other color uh, kind of over it, but it, it won't matter when we fill it in. I'm gonna just make it a little bit, I don't want that, that orange showing anywhere. So we've still got that brown. There's his other eyebrow. And see, here's what I do not want. I can have that line, but I don't want that brown. So I can just move that node. And that's good enough. The lines will go away. The only other thing we need to do is the, uh, we do need to do white. And I'm just going to use, it's kind of a gray. And then I'm going to tr put a true white in his eyeball. I can do that just inside of Corel's color palette. Now, if we take, we can get rid of our rectangle now. If we take this fish now and go ahead and group it together, now we can move it over where we want. Let's take it over by the bubbles. And I don't know if he wants to cut out the bubbles, uh, but that's pretty, I mean, in a short bit of time, that's pretty good graphic so i'm not you know maybe i'm completely off base here so there's the first one I made a duplicate hold down the shift key control d and see control d actually took it smaller and that'll work and now i need to take our fish and move it out of the way take our outlines i'm luckily getting them well, I didn't get that one. Take that one away. Whoop. I deleted it. Now we'll use that same color. So get the eyedropper. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're going to take away the outlines. So I'm going to right click there and it got rid of all the outlines so now we need to make a a contour cut line around this so if i grab everything i can create a boundary and then move the boundary out of the way what happened to my nudge there we are now now we have a boundary and it's all one curve now I can go to effects and contour. I'm going to contour the outside. Let's see how that looks. See, we want to get all the bubbles. Um, let me zoom in. We want all the bubbles touching. So we're going to go uphill. Maybe not quite that much. Now see, that's too much. But what we're going to do now, because they're now they're compassed, we're going to take and break the contour part, take this outside, go over here and break the curve apart and just get the inside or the outside and leave that trash. Now, so let's say that cut line's too big. We can take it now, go to the inside. Let's go like right there. Make sure you got rounded corners and see it made the cut line smaller. Go to object order or excuse me, break contour part. Try to grab that outside contour. I would never delete it. I would move it over so you can kind of see. I'm hoping that's what he was asking. Uh, I went a little beyond and, and, and fixed his fish. And you could still, you know, fix stuff by, you know, smoothing that out. But if you look at the difference between the two fish, Pretty incredible. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.